Hello everyone, it's Alex and welcome back to my yoga and stretches before bedtime series. Today's class is going to be your advanced deep stretch. So this is perfect for my people who are a little bit more advanced in their flexibility. If you're like me and a dancer and want something a little bit more intense, want something to really stretch out those muscles, this class is for you. Uh, you need no equipment, just a mat and a little bit of floor space. So let's go ahead and get started. If you guys are unable to join me for this class right now, go ahead and save it to your watch later. That way you can come back and join me whenever you have time. All right, guys, we're going to get started today in a downward dog. So make your way to the back of your mat. Go ahead, place your hands right underneath your shoulders. Really press your hands into the mat. Feel all fingers pressed in. You're going to tuck your toes, send your hips up high, coming in to your downward dog. If you're a little bit tight today and you need to do a few little walks just to release the back of the legs, go ahead and walk out your dog. And then slowly start to straighten out, setting those heels down, pressing the hands and shoulder blades are being pulled down. You're going to reach that tailbone up to the sky and try to get that sternum all the way down to the mat. Good. We're just going to take a couple breaths here just to get into our body, come into our space. Getting this nice full body stretch. Taking a big deep inhale and an exhale, sink even deeper. And again, nice big inhale and an exhale. Awesome. From here, you're going to send that right leg way up to the sky, taking a big deep breath, getting into our huge one legged downward dog. Make sure you're pointing those toes, really opening up through the hips. If you'd like to bend your knee, and go ahead and try to stack your hips on top. So you're wanting to stack your right hip on top of your left, but still keeping those shoulders squared. So make sure you're pushing that right shoulder down. Good, and extend it up. Big stretch. Nice, and again, bend your knee. Open up through those hip flexors. And send it back up. One more time, bend your knee, open up your hips, and from here you're going to keep dropping that foot down towards the ground. We're going to come to our wild thing, so you're going to flip your hips up towards the sky as that right foot comes down towards the mat. You're going to circle that right arm all the way up to the sky. Big stretch, opening up through the heart center. Inhale it here, and exhale to come back into your one-legged downward dog. Good. Send it way up tall. Let out a big deep breath. From here, go ahead and bring that right knee in towards the chest. You're going to bring it all the way through into your right-legged pigeon. So just set that right knee down on the mat. That left leg is extended long behind you, extending out through those back toes. Make sure that knee is all the way down. Your left hip is coming down towards the mat, so you want those square hips again. Your right foot does not have to be completely parallel with the top of the mat. If you want to bring it more in towards your body, you are more than welcome to that. Whatever is more protective for your knee. From here, you're going to sit up tall, taking a big deep breath. And on your exhale, go ahead and start to walk your hands down. Maybe just come down onto your elbows if this feels nice. Or if you'd like, you can rest your forehead over top of your hands. Or you can even stretch those arms long out in front of you, completely relaxing your body all the way down. Again, just take whatever is more comfortable for you. We're going to hold here for a couple of breaths. Really stretching out through the hip flexors, the psoas, the outer glutes. And if you do want a little bit of a deeper stretch, you are more than welcome to walk that foot out a little bit. Again, I'm getting it more parallel with the mat, but still maintaining those square hips. So you want to think about pulling that right hip back and the left hip forward, and then having an even amount of weight between the right and the left leg. You don't want to be seated all the way onto your right leg. Feel free to close your eyes here. Start taking in those really deep breaths, breathing into any areas of tension you may feel and releasing it with your exhale. Good. 
couple more breaths here. Awesome. Take one more big deep inhale. And on your exhale, slowly start to walk your hands back up to your body. You're going to stay in this pigeon pose. You're going to reach back for that left foot. So you're going to bend your left knee, reaching for that ankle. We're going to come into our mermaid. So what you're going to do is you're going to wrap that left elbow around the left foot. You're going to grab your fingertips and you're going to reach that right elbow up to the sky. As you keep pulling in that left leg. So now we're getting into the quads. You should feel that nice stretch in your left quad as well as the hips because you also are still trying to square off those hip flexors and staying in this pigeon pose. So again, you're just interlacing your fingers and I'm reaching that right elbow up towards the sky. Nice big stretch here, opening up through the upper body, pulling that left leg in towards your glutes. Good, big deep breath here. And then if you'd like to take, to take it one step further, you're gonna come into your full king pigeon. So you're actually gonna grab that left foot with your left hand and then reach back with the right and then try to look all the way back towards that right foot. So you're getting a bigger stretch in your back now. And then you're just pulling that foot in towards your body. And if you'd also like to just keep your head straight and then just try to stretch out through the quad more, you're just gonna try to pull your foot in towards your body here. Good, go ahead and release that leg nice and long behind you. Then from here, you're going to just extend that right leg forward. We're gonna come into our right split. So just kind of rock onto the right side, extend that right leg forward, and then settle into your splits. If you need some blocks to help support you in this, you're more than welcome to use blocks. However, if you are all the way down in your splits, again, this is for my more advanced students taking this class. You hopefully you already do have your split. But sit up nice and tall. We're still thinking about squaring off those hips. So again, that left hip is being pulled forward while that right hip is being pulled back. You want to extend long. Feel like you have energy shooting out from both of your feet. So shooting out from your right and your left, so you feel that opposition. So your legs are being nice and extended. You're going to start by sitting up nice and tall. Take a really big deep breath. And on your exhale, start to walk your body forward. Again, just reaching, laying over top of that leg, keeping those hips squared. You don't want to have too much weight in that right leg, so you shouldn't be leaning over to the right. Your weight is evenly distributed between both hips. Nice. And from here, go ahead and walk your body back up. And this time, we're going to reach back, having a nice big arch in the spine, stretching out the back. Just start to walk your hands behind you. Keep those fingertips tented. And then just start to bring your head back, releasing through the upper body. Then exhale again to reach the body forwards. One last time, go ahead and reach up. This time, if you'd like, sometimes I like to just reach my arms up to the sky and grab hold of my hands and then just slowly start to arch back. And then reach your body forward, let it all go. Very nice. From here, go ahead and swing that left leg around. Just shake out your legs a little bit. Hopefully your right side is feeling nice and stretched out feels so good coming out of these stretches to feel the difference between my right and left very nice and from here go ahead and cross your ankles we're gonna come and take that all on the left I know so much fun so whenever you're ready just come back into your downward dog walking out your downward dog in a spot kind of just reset your legs getting ready for the left side 
from here taking a big deep inhale on your exhale let it all go awesome then on your next inhale go ahead and send that left leg all the way up to the sky big one-legged downward dog stretch here bend that knee open up the hips start to stack that left hip on top of the right good and then extend it long big inhale trying to pull that leg towards your head exhale to rebend Inhale, the left leg reaches long all the way up to the sky, pointing out through those left toes. And exhale, bend that left leg. Still keeping those shoulders squared, so you should be pulling that left shoulder down and the right shoulder up. Finding that opposition. One more time, reach the left leg nice and long. And on your exhale, bend that left leg. You're going to keep that left leg bent as you slowly start to open the hips up towards the sky. Keep bringing that left foot down, coming into our wild thing. You're gonna circle that left arm way up towards the sky. And then on your exhale, go ahead and bring that left hand back down, coming back into your one-legged downward dog. Awesome, from here, bring that knee into the chest. We're gonna come onto our pigeon on the left. So bring that left knee down, that right leg is extended long underneath you, or behind you, I mean. Sitting up nice and tall, start to think about squaring off the hips here. So you're bringing that right hip down, left hip forward. Good. Just find this nice pigeon pose. Just seat it up for a few breaths. If you want to walk that foot out so it's more parallel with the mat to get even deeper in the stretch, you can do that. However, you can also just bring it more in towards your pelvis. Good. Yeah, Taking a big deep inhale here. And on your exhale, slowly start to walk that body down laying all the way down again you can either come to your elbows maybe you want to rest your forehead over top of your hands or you can also just reach those arms all the way forward coming into that full stretch here you should start to feel this on the outside of your left glutes as well as your left hip flexors and again we're just going to hang out here for a couple breaths so feel free to close your eyes and just start to come into a meditative state big deep inhale through the nose and a long exhale out through the mouth again finding those areas of tension breathing into those areas of tension and then releasing that tension with your exhales and just seeing how much further you can push your body in these deep stretches Awesome. Let's take two more breaths here together. Inhale through the nose. And exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale to walk your body back up to an upright position. We're going to come into our mermaid pose from here. So you're just going to bend that right knee. Hook that right arm around the right foot. Grab hold of those right fingertips with the left and then reach that left elbow up to the sky, opening up through that heart center. Nice big arch in the spine. And you're trying to pull that right foot in so you're getting a nice quad stretch as well. Lots of things being stretched out right here. This is one of my favorite stretches to do. I feel like it just opens up my entire body, which is really nice. Good, take in a big deep breath and an exhale to let it go. See if you can pull that right foot in towards the glutes. Nice. And from here, we're going to come into our king pigeon. So you're just going to keep hold of this right foot. You can grab it first with your right fingertips, and then you're going to square off your shoulders as you reach that left arm back. Again, you can just drop the head all the way back if this feels nice. 
or you can also just pull that foot in closer to your head and keep your head straight whichever is more comfortable for you i like to release my full upper body so i like to look all the way back good and then whenever you're ready go ahead and come back up release that right leg back down towards the mat we're going to come into our split on the left side so again if you need any type of block or pillow just for a little extra support you're more than welcome to grab those now however you are more than welcome to just be like me and extend that left leg nice and long extend the right leg behind you sitting up nice and tall squaring off the hips you're bringing that right hip down the left hip is forward sitting up tall first take a big deep breath and again, we're going to think about shooting energy out of our feet, feeling that opposition. So you're growing long in that left leg and long in that back leg, like someone's pulling you out. So you're really extending through the back of the legs here. And on your inhale, you're going to grow nice and tall. And on your exhale, you're going to reach your body forward. I didn't say this last time, but try not to have that big curve in your spine. You want to extend out to the top of your head. I've talked about this in some of my classes. So you're having more of that neutral spine and you're really getting the full benefit of stretching out through that back leg, keeping the spine nice and tall. And then just reach your body forward, see if you can bring your head all the way down. Good, and then walk your body back up. You're gonna stretch out the back now. So then just tank your fingertips behind you as you slowly start to arch the back, looking all the way up towards the sky. And then exhale again to reach it forward. One last time, this time if you want to go ahead and grab hold of your fingers and then just let your body reach back. And then exhale one last time to reach it forward. Let that upper body release. Awesome job. And then swing that right leg up to meet the left. Shake it out a little bit. Hopefully your left side is feeling nice and long and stretched out. Just kind of shake your legs out from here we're going to come into our straddles so getting deeper into the hip flexors hopefully your hips do feel nice and open after all the pigeon and king pigeon poses so whenever you're ready just go ahead and kind of sit in the center of your mat you're going to reach your legs out try to just reach them to the corners of your mat to start off with and we're going to slowly make our way to a bit more of an open position but from here go ahead and just release your body forward keep your feet flexed and make sure that your toes stay up towards the ceiling i don't want you to rock your feet forward we want to protect our knees so keep that engagement of turning out your legs you're trying to rotate your inner thighs out to your outer thighs yeah then from here again if you want to just come onto your elbow you can do that if you want to stay seated in an upright position you can do that i like to try to bring my body all the way down and again just come into that restful position i'm just bringing my forehead down and letting my hip flexors get stretched Take in a couple breaths here, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth. And again, inhale. And exhale. Good. Go ahead and come back up to a seated position. See if you can open those legs up a little more. Scoot your hips forward. And then same thing. We're just going to rock our body forward. Still keeping those toes flexed and the toes up towards the sky. Trying to maintain that turnout. And then see if you can just bring your body all the way down. Take in one more big deep breath. And on your exhale, slowly start to walk yourself back up. 
we're gonna do one more thing just to stretch out the back actually so go ahead and come laying down onto your stomach just so we can target the back a little bit more we're gonna come into what I call a boat pose what you're gonna do is you're just gonna bring your toes all the way up to your head so keep your hands underneath your shoulders you're gonna lift your about your upper body up towards the sky see if you can walk your hands back a little and then slowly start to bring your toes all the way to your head see if you can touch or maybe tap your head here and then slowly lower it down we're gonna do this a couple more times seeing how far you can go if you can already touch your head maybe try to touch your ears if you can touch your hair see if you can touch your shoulders right we're just gonna keep pushing it really stretching out the back so lifting up bringing the toes all the way towards the head and then bring it back down. One last time, lift up, toes all the way towards the head. And then bring it all the way down, nice. Go ahead and sit back into a child's pose. Come into that opposite stretch, releasing the back, curving out through the spine. Take in a big deep breath here. And on your exhale, slowly start to walk those hands back up to an upright position. Inhale as you reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. Take a nice bow, thanking yourself for such a wonderful deep stretch practice. I hope you feel nice and flexible now, and I will see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching today's class. If you want to check out more of our content or see my whole series, you can go ahead and download our app, Yoga Plus, which is located in the description below. Welcome to Yoga Plus. Courses available from pupil to yogi. Sort by yoga, fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. Available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.